Can you imagine how transformational it will be if our people are wealthier, healthier and happier? You know, the pursuit of happiness has a lot going for it. And I think what's wrong with the way we're doing business up at Stormont is that politics often gets in people's way rather than in helping them achieve. The main parties are operating this very high accountability, low trust regime. And what I mean by that is that the people have to account for every action they take, but in return they get very little trust from the big parties of government and the big parties very seldom account for their own actions. We need to move off an exclusive focus on our dependency on others. For two years, the focus has been on protecting the vulnerable from welfare reform. This could have been solved months ago. We were first. We were first to table amendments at Stormont. Sinn Féin, they were so concerned they didn't even bother to turn up and vote when the legislation was going through Westminster. And then they sat in their hands until the infamous rollover at Stormont House last December. And then came the latest crisis as their southern command told them to rethink, pull the plug on the agreement and return us to the current political normality, uncertainty. If we tackle mental health properly, we unlock a triple win. We deal with the legacy of the Troubles. We empower people to come off welfare. And we rebalance the economy by making people economically active and maybe for the first time in their lives. Currently, if citizens in the rest of the United Kingdom have a pound in their back pocket, our people have only 77 pence. And that is the prosperity gap that we have to close. So I want power further devolved from Stormont to councils, from councils to communities, from communities to households, because all the best research says that it's the family unit where you make a transformational difference. It also sounds like common sense to me. And if a shared future means we all have to jump into some sort of virtual blender and come out the human form of beige, count me out, folks, because I am a proud unionist, and we have a big place in a shared future. We understand the value of the United Kingdom. It is the best thing for all of our people, politically, economically, socially, culturally. It makes sense. It is common sense. And in my shared future, pubs will no longer have a sign saying, no sports tops allowed. They'll have a sign that says, all sports tops are welcome. Our values, members, our values are not an auction item available to the highest bidder. We will defend and promote and advance the union because it is the right thing to do. There'll be no price tag on our commitment to being good citizens of the United Kingdom. Folks, remember, 7th of May, one day, one vote, one chance for change.